Now let's play the song today. The song that we're going to play is Skip to My Lou. You can guess from the titles, right? Skipping. There's a lot of skipping in this music. So if it's a C, you're skipping. If it's a D, it's skipping. Skip. Lots of skip. And left hand is the pattern that we learned last week, which is just regular block the chord. And if you're looking at the second line, basically the words pattern. So if it's a C chord, you just play the bottom C and then and if it's G chord, of course it's an inversion. It really doesn't matter which note it is. But you will just keep holding the bottom one and then tap to play it later. That's what the words patterns. Actually, the left hand is pretty easy. It just has a C chord and G chord and C. That's all you have. But right hand may be a little bit confusing because, because of the eighth note and quarter note combination. So just let's try right hand first. Fine hand position. It starts with E, since so it's first line, E, G, B, D, F. Do you remember? Yes. So start with E. One, two, three, go. One, two, and skip. Four, and skip up again. One, two, and skip up. Three, four, and this time go to D. Space to space, and that's gonna be from D to skip down as a B. You can find it that way, or then note you can find from middle C to one step down, so just right next to each other. Do you remember that we learned the C, B, D, the note between huge space of treble clap and bass clap? That's the note. So, right hand one more time from the measure three. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, skip. Two count and step down. One, two, three, four. Skip. One, two, skip up again. One, two, and second line. What is it? D. Remember the staccato? That below the note, which we learned yesterday, right? In cuckoo. That's the staccato. So you have to play it short. And the next measure, melody line, it's literally dissimilar from the first phrase. So let's play measure nine, where we have just left. So starting with E. One, two, one, two. That's what the right hand is. There's so many skips and combinations of eighth note, which is makes you confusing. So what you can do, practice right hand by itself a couple of times. And if you can play it well, then add left hand chord. Because left hand chord is not really hard. Now let's try it both in together. Ready? One, two, three, go. For the left hand. Left hand start an F and going down and right hand from the D to going up. So it's opposite direction, which is contrary motion. So D, D, and then that's the confusing part. Left and 
coming to G and right hand stepping down. B, step down, down, two, the same note again, rest. So you have to take it out these two measures and practice a couple of times and play it again because that's the kind of confusing. If you play only that measure, it's easy. But if you play it through the song, then that's going to cause you a mistake. So just take it out the part and practice. Now let's move it on to the second section. Measure nine. One, two, three, go. C chord and waltz pattern. Skip again. until you feel comfortable and speed up gradually. The actual song is pretty fast. This is, this is fun and faster song. So I will play it in regular tempo and see how it sounds like. One, two, three, go. <laughs> instead of playing it that's fine sometimes i do with my students one and two and three and four one and two and three and four instead of playing it on the piano if you play on the piano you have to think about the fingers but if you tap on the desk then you don't have to think about the fingers only focusing on the rhythm so if you still have trouble doing it then tap on the TS table work on it and when you can do it okay and when you feel comfortable then you can start playing on the piano song itself is easy but when you combine both in together because the rhythm is really confusing so practice slow and speed up gradually and I hope you can nail down the eighth note and play it well if you still have trouble send me the message or you can send me your play and i will chat and will tell you which part you need to work on and why you have trouble with and i hope you have a wonderful week bye